Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel once again. This weekend I really wanted to make an Easter themed VR video for the channel to celebrate the fact that it's Easter weekend. But I couldn't think of any native Easter related or bunny rabbit related VR games. So I landed on Alien Isolation because of the eggs. You know, lots of eggs in Alien, and that's probably the most appropriate thing I could think of. Look at this little guy! This little nodding bird fella here. This is Alien Isolation with the Mother VR mod. I've played through this game two times, I think, now in VR, but I've never, in VR or flat screen, played the Crew Expendable DLC or any of the other DLCs, <laughs> for that matter. So today, I'm going to go through the Crew Expendable DLC. This might be a longer video than normal, because I'm just going to play this whole thing. I don't know how long this DLC is, but I'm very excited to jump in and experience it. Now, a little bit of background information before I jump in and start playing. This DLC takes place within the first film. It's just after Kane has died, the chestburst has come out, he's, he's a mess now, and there's a xenomorph on the ship. So we've got Ripley here, we've got Lambert here, we've got Parker, we have Dallas, we have Ash. I don't know where... is it Brett? I don't know where he is. Is he still alive at this point? Not entirely sure. But we've got all the characters and I can actually choose to play as either Ripley, Parker or Dallas, I think. Now I am going to play as Ripley because why would you not play as Ripley? Objective updated. Collect equipment. That sounds easy enough, doesn't it, Lambert? You alright? She is not alright. I, I do remember her going a bit like that in the film. Um, she basically becomes like a bit catatonic after uh, everyone witnesses Kane and his spectacular death. Exceptionally spectacular death. To be honest, I would probably be worse than her if I'd witnessed that. I'd be like rolling around on the table, drinking the ketchup and eating the poker chips. I'd be having a bad time. Um, so she, to be fair, is is holding it together quite well. Right, let's uh, let's get reacquainted with the controls for this spectacular VR mod. Uh, right, left trigger is crouch. That's good. Click in the left stick to sprint. Pretty straightforward. And I think it's A. Yeah, A interacts with stuff. I do think my other buttons will do things as well when I have items to use, but they don't do anything now. And I should have a map. There we go. Uh, three objectives right now. Collect a flare, optional. Collect a medkit, optional. Collect equipment, that is non-optional. So let's go for the optional stuff first. I think I'm already facing in the right direction. Oh man, it feels so good to be back. This is one of the best looking VR experiences you can have because it nails the aesthetic of the alien universe. And this DLC is obviously just a, a, a step even further because it, it's perfect. It nails the, the vibe and the environment of the original film so well. Oh, we, we really should have a sequel to this game by now. It's criminal that we don't. I love that it's a standalone thing and it's almost perfect in my opinion as far as like survival horror um, and an alien game goes, but I would love a sequel. Don't think we'll ever get one, but I would love it. Uh, now I don't know how long this DLC is, okay collect the flare, that's done, um, but I am planning to play the entire thing in this video so it might be a slightly longer video than normal I might not do much editing on it I want to keep it you know pretty intact um, I just wanted to play something Eastery and honestly I, I this popped into my head because I thought of the eggs it's like alien eggs yeah that'll do that's that's about as Eastery as you can get <laughs> in VR I don't think we have any Easter themed VR games or bunny rabbit games there he is Ash Bloody hate that guy. Let's go talk to him. Look at that. Ripley. Acid. You might want to look around before you go on. Uh -huh. The specimen seems extremely adaptable. All right. Great information. You horrible, horrible android person. Uh, right. We've got a bit of acid on the floor there. Uh, we have a face hugger here. I think that's the face hugger, isn't it? Right. Medkit there. Get that. 
Um, that's the optional objective. Bit of scrap there. Anything else I can get? Injector there. I remember it's just worth picking up anything you can find in this because you will likely need it when the alien starts roaming around. Now, if you've never played this mod, um, I would highly recommend it. It's absolutely fantastic. Hello, Parker. How you doing? You all right? Not looking all right. He's looking sweaty. He's looking stressed. Again, to be honest, I don't blame him. You are sitting in the absolute worst place, though, mate. You are in prime real estate xenomorph territory right there. It could jump down that vent and gobble you up. No problem. It wouldn't even, wouldn't even think twice about doing it. Uh, yeah, I would massively recommend that you play this mod if you haven't. It's very easy to set up. Uh, it's free to download. It's one file that you drag and drop into the alien installation location. And that's it. You're, you're ready to go. Hello there, Dallas. Uh, now, it doesn't have motion controls, but everything is mapped to touch controllers. Um, so I can play the whole game like this. If I remember rightly, every now and then there's puzzles um, that require you to use an actual controller, like an Xbox controller, like some terminals if you interact with them. This is amazing. Um, you have to use an Xbox controller, so I've got one plugged in just in case. But pretty much pretty much all of it, like 99% works on touch controllers. <coughs> Dallas isn't sounding alright, he's sounding a bit ill. Alright, got me equipment! Jobs are good Flame Flamethrower, straight away. Brilliant. Okay. Right, so I have a flamethrower now, which I can get out like that. And I can start blasting it around. Okie doke. Look at that. Horrific, endless expanse of space. I would have an existential crisis every single day if I ever went to space. It would be a horrible experience for me. I have an existential crisis most days anyway, but if I was floating around in, in this endless nothingness, but also endless everything, I, I would just crumble. My brain would probably collapse in on itself, to be perfectly honest with you. Right, where am I going? Uh, seal hatch zero right right at the back of the ship. Okay, I can do that. I do wonder if, um, thanks to all our advances in VR modding, where's Lambert gone? She's buggered off. Okay. Um, I do wonder if now someone might be able to take this VR mod and add motion controls to it. I'd like to hope so. The security system has shut a number of doors, so. You'll need to gather equipment en route. Okay. Mother isn't really helping the situation, unfortunately. Brilliant. Okay, well, I've got a flamethrower. Is that enough equipment for you, Ash? I could burn your face off right now and you would just be a skeleton. A little robot skelly boy. Okay, can I go down here? Am I supposed to go down here? Good Climb. luck. Yeah. Did you I say good luck? Hatch behind you. Oh, I hate him. Oh, he's closing the hatch. Sure. Oh, you shit. He's trapped me down here with the bloody alien, I bet. He wanted to do that. Okay. Well, where am I going? Right, we're going to seal the hatch, so I need to go down this way. Oh, no, I already don't like it. I already remember why this game makes me want to cry. Is that the alien? Already? Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Okay, on the plus side... No, turn that off. I do have a flamethrower immediately. And if the alien comes into, into my face... Oh, motion tracker. Okay, I have the motion tracker. Oh my god, it is down here. Oh, well, it's immediately down here. Oh no. Oh my god, it's here. It's, it's right here, immediately. Oh no. Piss off. Oh, I've got to go that way. Okay. Ah! You can, sh you can piss off. Run away. Ah! You're so shiny. You're so... No! I think it's gone. I think it's gone. Right, I think it's gone. Okay, it's fine. Right. Thank God for flamethrowers. Where is it? It's behind me. Parker, what's happening? Where's the alien? Oh! Jesus Christ! It's the only plan we've done. Go away! Go away! No! I'm wasting all my bloody all my bloody stuff immediately. I'm having a bad time straight away. Okay, right. Uh, yeah, sure. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh no! I think I've gone the wrong way. I think I've gone the wrong bloody what? Yep. 
seal hatch. Oh, I was just in that room. Oh, I was just in that bloody room. What do you? Okay, let's go to the let's go to the other hatch down the other end. That one. Oh, Jesus Christ! No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Guys, this isn't this isn't this isn't this isn't this isn't going well because I am using all of my flame fluid straight away. Um, I need to be much more careful and stop running around like an absolute lemon person. Alien is right behind me, I'm pretty sure. I can hear it stomping along. Yep, can hear it stomping. Don't come in here. I hate the footsteps. It actually terrifies me. Okay. Right, what do I do now? I think I'm in one of the objective places. Seal hatch 00B2. Hello. Okay, do we need to touch this? Lockdown hatch. Right, don't worry, Lambert, I'm going to do this. A. There you go. Jobs are bloody good and lock down your hatch. I'm a stellar friend. One of the very best you could ever hope to have. Right, give me that scrap. Um, anything else I can have? No, okay, so now I need to just go straight back to the other side to seal the other hatch for Parker. Okay, I can do that. Oh god, no, I can't. There's an alien there. Now, you know what? If I follow behind it, it won't expect that. I won't expect that. Jesus, they expected it! Jesus, no! Fuck her off! Okay, right. That didn't work as well as I hoped it would do. But it's all it's all it's all gravy, baby. Because he ran away. He's gone into one of those. Come on, we're nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Okay, right. Seal this. Seal this for Parker. How's it going, mate? You right? This plan is crazy. I know. I'm doing it. I'm not listening to you. It's the only plan we got, Parker. Yep. It's the only plan we got, Parker, mate. So stop whinging. Yeah, yeah. Get to the landing claw bay. Okay. Will, will bloody do. Will bloody do. Where is that? Um. <laughs> okay, we need to go it's through the server room, back of the server room. Okay, that's fine. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> it's also one of the only games that just makes swear words just slip out of me. Completely involuntarily. Oh my god. Right, it's buggered off. That's good. If it appears now, I will shit my pants. Uh, is there a vent there? No, there's not a vent there. Okay. Don't come out of that. If you're in there, just stay in there. I can hear it behind me. I can hear it behind me. Get the fuel, get the fuel, get the fuel, get the fuel. Hello, mate. Piss off. What am I doing in this room? What am I doing in this room? Uh, something. In here? In here? Okay, I'm going in here. At the primary shaft. Wish me luck. Oh god, I'm going down further. Why am I going down further? Stop descending into hell, Ripley. Do you not want to survive, Ripley? We're in position. I'm just trying to get a reading here. Oh, no. Well, what am I doing here? All right, I got a reading on you now. Hold on a second. I, I think I got it. Yes, it's in there with you. Oh, it's in the vents with me? Speak to me. R right around there. You're going to have to be careful. Oh, this is horrible. Jesus Christ! What the no, that's not fair. I don't want to be in there. I don't want to be in there with it. I don't want to be in there with it. I don't want to be in there with it. No, I don't want to be in there with it. I don't want to be in the tight corridors. That's horrible. I don't want to do it. Right, how do I win? How do I win at this bit? Hold on a second. I, I think I got Yes, it's in there with you. I need more than that. R right around there. You're gonna have to be careful. How do I win at this bit? How do I win? How do I win? Okay, can I blast it away? 
Can I stop it? Okay, I can. I can stop it. That's disgusting. Where am I going? Okay, I need to... Oh, it's like a maze. I need to get right to the back. So, I need to take a right and a right. Uh, right. Right. Uh, left. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Right here. This is filthy. This is actual filth. Right. Left. Oh, she's telling me. We're here. Here. Okay. Now what? Left. Left. Thanks, love. She is telling me. That's really good of her. Straight on. Straight on. Okay. Thanks, love. You're brilliant. Right. Right. Okay. I can do that. Left. Only where I can go. Here. Here. Ah. Connect Ash to airlock systems. Where are they? Where are they? Right, get down. Low and slow. Low and slow, baby. Low and slow. Airlock system's got to be in here, right? Maybe? What's this? What's this? This is not the room I need to be in. This is just this is just some kind of shit room with shit in it. This isn't, this isn't important. I don't think I'm getting anything from opening these things that I can normally loot, by the way. They open and then it says take all, but they're, they're just empty. They're just empty. Okay, so I need to go out this door swing a, a, a direction and then go. Okay, I think it's I think it's this way. I think it's this way. Right. Uh, airlock systems. In there, maybe? It's gonna be in there. It's gotta be in there, right? Oh, this is so good! So good! I don't know why I haven't played these DLCs until now. I think there's another one that's like a story DLC. And then there's a few, like, challenge modes. Was never really interested in the challenge modes. These story ones, though, really not sure why I didn't play these before now. It seems kind of crazy that I didn't, um... Because I love the core game so much. Right, connect Ash to the airlock systems. There you go, mate. It's here, okay? What now? It's up to you. I'm opening the outer airlock, but it'll take time. Oh, Find God. somewhere to hide. Find somewhere to hide? Evade the alien. Okay, uh, can I, can I get in that little safe? No, it's too small. No one can fit in there. Oh, alien's there. It's literally right there. Can I open this? Is this the airlock? Use lever. Hold. 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 What does it mean? Yep. Yeah. Did I want to do that? Did I want to do that? I've just let the alien in, right? Oh. Oh. Just sit behind this table. Just sit behind this table. It'll be fine. Evade the alien. Am I supposed to go somewhere? I think I just need to dodge the alien for a bit until... Until uh, the times... Oh, God! Wait until alien enters the airlock. What the flipping heck? There you go, look, aliens in the airlock. Blow it away. Blow it away. Blow it away! Oh, why are you why are you not blowing it away? Surely you have the power, Ash. Ah! Piss off! Piss off! No! It's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He ran away. She ran away, sorry. It's definitely a she. She was scared. Scared of my flames. Right. Do I need to get into the airlock? Where is she? I can hear her. I can hear her. Am I supposed to be in here? Am I supposed to be in here? No, I think I'm in the airlock now. That's not good. Ah, ah, ah. What now? What now? She's in the bloody airlock. What now? Ah! Stop it. Mate, what now? Oh, I don't know what to do now. Um... Um, oh, good lord. Do you want to come in here? Into the airlock? Do you, want to, do you want to come and hang out in this airlock with me? Yeah? Be nice, wouldn't it? Come on. Come in here. Come in Come in here into the airlock. It's lovely and comfortable. Well, the problem is, I have to scare you away. I need you to come in here of your own bloody accord. Mrs. Mrs. Xenomorph. And then I guess, what do I do? Do I press this button? It's not anything I can interact with right now, but I, I can only assume it, it would be what I'd interact with when the alien goes in there. 
Except it's not bloody going in there. Go into the airlock. Go into the airlock. Stop hanging around. Outside my thing. Oh my god, there. Look at that. It's so cool. So cool. Oh my god, that looks so cool. But it's really annoying because it's not going into the airlock. And the airlock is right there. Right over there. Just. Oh, can you just piss off? Oh. No, don't. Don't turn around and look in here. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, looking in here again, are we? Very nice. Yeah, great. Brilliant. Oh, stop! How do I get this thing to go to the pissing airlock? Drop a flare, drop a flare, drop a flare, drop a flare. That's it, drop a flare in there. Now go, 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 go. Go in here. Will it go to the flare? Will it go to the... Please go to the flare. Surely that's the only thing I can do to make it go in the airlock. Oh my God, it went into the airlock. Something strange happening here. Press the button. It's Seal the airlock. No flipping way. Seal it! Seal it! Oh, what? Why did it not seal? Oh, Ash, you shitty shit! Ash, why have you done this? Why have you done this? Slim chance at best. We'll have to reconvene. <gasps> Bilbo Baggins betrayed me. Who could have seen that coming? Well, I should have probably seen that coming because that's the movie. That's exactly what happens in the movie. The rest of the crew was still alive in this DLC. So we were never actually going to blast the alien out of the airlock. Alien Isolation in VR is absolutely sublime. If you haven't played it, I would urge you to do so. It works with the Epic version and the Steam version. Wherever you have this game, you can apply the VR mod to it and you can play it works with touch controllers and it looks incredible inside the headset hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have please do leave a like leave a comment hit subscribe all that good stuff and i will see you soon for another video take care everyone see you later